won't be here at uh, headquarters. That will be at the Secretary General's residence, and that will be prior to um, this uh, press briefing. ¿Qué quieres que hace el Secretario General para usted? ¿Qué quiere de esa reunión? Bueno. Oh, el va a hablar. Puede ser. Wait a second. I thought this was UN for only. Look, 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 wow. Hmm. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Let's see, now the, now the scramble is for Venezuelan state media to be allowed into Big Tony's house to film. This is Walt, this, this guy's name is Walter Penn. He works for media accreditation. Um, media accreditations are the ones that actually took inner city press accreditation away. But now, blood splattered, blood splattered state media. They're going in. Check it out. No problem. No problem. They're going in. It's not, this wasn't listed anywhere on the media accreditation alert, by the way. By the way, this was never listed. What they listed was a press conference and they said UN photo only. And then they held that canceled. They never announced this. This was never announced. State media. Any... This is the treatment that Valpia would get. He could bring in his personal photographer. Oh wait, we've got a hand. The dog's going in. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. That's how they do it at the UN. That's how they do it at the UN. They, what they got especially mad at is when I started pointing out that they gave multiple full, full offices to, to blood-splattered state media while they harassed independent media. Because Antonio Guterres is a dictator. No matter how you dress it up, no matter how much money you spend, no matter how much... It's the Venezuelan foreign minister beating, beating the secretary general. What happened? Nothing. It's the Venezuelan foreign minister came to visit the secretary general. He lives alone in this house. Wow. Keep on paying your taxes. You're paying for it. It's a joke. What? Maybe he'll speak when he leaves, but it won't be worth it, regardless. Okay, then. Venezuelan foreign minister is visiting the Secretary... The Secretary General of the United Nations, yes. Banky Moon. Is it still Banky? No, it's uh, Antonio Guterres. He lives in this house? Right there. Now you know. Now you know. You've seen it here. You've seen... Absolutely corrupt. From the bottom to the top. <laughs> yeah. No, Ban Ki-moon is, Ban Ki -moon is, uh, is, is on the move. Ban Ki-moon is rolling around. But at least Ban Ki-moon had his family moving to this place. This guy lives alone. He lives alone in a $15 million mansion while giving speeches about poverty and how the world is so unfair. He sat in his house while the meeting was taking place about Venezuela at the Security Council. Now he's in his house getting his ring, ring kissed. And that is a term of art. Yes, he's getting his ring kissed by the foreign minister of Nicolas Maduro and hand-chosen which media can arrive. Yes, it's true. Only at the United Nations. Hand-picked, hand-picked scribes for Big Tony's Big Day Wait a moment. New arrivals. Absolutely disgusting. You are correct. You are correct. This is your tax dollars at work. It's a veritable Turkish bazaar of media access. Never in the media alert. Announced nowhere. It's basically Tony's hand-picked scribes to memorialize his meeting with Nicolas Maduro, his foreign minister. And this is how they continue to operate. Now, if Antonio Guterres was such a peacemaker, why did he stay in his house during the Security Council meeting on Venezuela? Now, it was said today by his spokesman that he did it because he had an appointment at the Parque Synagogue, but that was at 1045. 
numerous UN ambassadors and diplomats attended both meetings. And he has security and an escort and sirens. No. And it's worse than laziness. Laziness doesn't begin to capture it. Okay, the images have been captured. The golden moment of Big Tony's full capitulation has been recorded. Para siempre. Here we are, Casa Big Tony. Absolutely corrupt, 100%, from the top to the bottom. We'll be broadcast in a moment. We are disgusted. Picture of Venezuela at the moment, and it was a very good meeting, as it has always been with, with Secretary General Guterres. Did you say why he didn't go to the Security Council meeting when it happened on January 26th? We didn't speak about the Security Council, nor of none of the actions of the U.S., really. This was of, of, of important issues, not of propaganda from the U.S. Are you going to go to the Federal Reserve Bank while you're here in New York? The, the, the issue that they've, they, they, they've turned over the accounts to Guaido? Is no. That, what do you... We, we have other ways, but not, not, not the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Oh, yeah, Japanese.